coming up on an all-new list. Take that perfect picture from an airplane window. You just want to capture the images that really inspire you. Plus, we're actually doing it. It's happening. The artists that are all dropping new albums. I think that probably became the most anticipated album of the year. But first, bring a gift or maybe a bottle of wine. The unlikely TikToker who's taken social media by storm. Hi, everybody. It's Babs. It's your life. It's your list. And it starts right now. Hey guys, I'm Christina Guerrero. And I'm Jimmy Rhodes. And when you think of influencers, you probably think of teens, Gen Zers, or millennials. But make way ye unversed youth, here comes Babs, the internet's grandma. That's right, her videos on hacks, advice, and cooking quickly went viral. And now people can't stop watching. Jackie Denker is finding out why people can't get enough of brunch with Babs. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. Hi, everybody, it's Babs. Here's a packing hack that's going to save your sanity. Meet Barbara Costello, a.k.a. Babs, the internet grandma you never knew you needed. Prosecco vodka grapes. If you haven't had them, you're missing out. With millions of followers on Instagram and TikTok, where she goes by brunch with Babs, she shares recipes and cooking hacks. The ultimate birthday party hack. Helpful tips. Hey, it's Babs. Did your mom ever tell you how to check the level of propane in your tank? And motherly advice. Hi, it's Babs. Did your mom ever tell you friends for a reason, friends for a season, friends for life? Babs posted her first TikTok a little over two years ago at the age of 71 when she was quarantining with her daughter and the internet fell in love. The feedback at that time was so overwhelmingly heartfelt. Um, and I continue to get these messages. Like I remind them of their mom or their mom that passed away or a dear grandmother or a favorite aunt. With each video, her viewers grew. And so many of them have said, you have no idea what you're doing for people. Please don't stop. So, you know, that really does energize you. It's like, oh my gosh, I, I have to continue as long as I'm able to. And whether she's giving you the secret substitute to a better brownie. Substitute that with a can of black beans. Or teaching you how to be a good house guest. Tip one, don't chew up empty handed. Bring a gift or maybe a bottle of wine. All of Babs's videos have one thing in common. I like to have fun. You have a man in your life. No matter where you take him, he always spills on himself. Exhibit A. He's too old to wear a bib. And this instead. Fall for a bib, try press and seal. I've done zany things. Once I went and visited a beekeeper. He had all the hives lined up. I was in full gear, except for gloves. I'm a beekeeper for the day. So I've tried lots of different things, I have to say. It's been a kick. And she's not slowing down anytime soon. At the age of 73, she just released her first cookbook, Celebrate with Babs. I decided if I was gonna write a cookbook, it was going to be a little different. So I literally start with New Year's Day and I give you a complete New Year's Day menu. And then I also give you hints how to start your own traditions in your family. Because Bab says food is the glue that holds family together, whether that's your real family or the one that she's creating online. It serves a crowd. For Babs' simple strawberry salad recipe from her new book, you can head to thelisttv.com. People are going to ask you for this recipe, 100%. Brunch with Babs is on the top of the list. Sure, you recycle your glass, plastic, and cardboard, and that's great, but those overstuffed landfills suggest you could do even more. Hattie D. Jamal's thinking outside the blue bin and giving us a look at things you didn't know you could recycle. You should recycle glass, paper, and plastic, but what about the rest of your trash? 80% of objects today are not recyclable, not because they can't be, but because they cost more to collect and process, our focus is to try to do what normal garbage companies do not do. Tom Zaki, CEO at TerraCycle Waste Management, has a few surprise items that we may toss that can actually take on a second life. Starting with Taco Bell sauce packets. Those can be collected and recycled at various participating Taco Bell restaurants. Or go to TerraCycle's website for info on their sauce packet recycling program. You can download a shipping label entirely for free, recycle from home or recycle from your place of work or your school. They process those packets. And then make them into all sorts of plastic products, even including plastic benches and so on. Next, 
cigarette waste. Cigarettes are still the most littered waste stream on the planet. It's unbelievable how much this shows up on our beaches, to our uh, roads, and so on. To help clean up, you can ask your company to set up cigarette waste collection stations. Send us whatever cigarette butts you may have access to, again, completely for free. They'll compost the ash and paper. And then we take the filter, which is made from cellulose acetate, it's a form of plastic, and then turn that into a variety of plastic products. To cut more waste, they also recycle shaving razors. You have disposable shavers where the handle and the head are one piece. And in what you call systems, where you have the handle that you keep and the heads, you can send us the heads. But also, if that handle at some point is no longer desirable, you can send us the handle as well. There are public drop-off locations around the country, or you can recycle from home and mail them in for free. But it doesn't stop there. If you're at the gym and you see, say, razors being used or other waste streams as well, you can absolutely recommend to the gym and typically you can sign up entirely for free and become a razor blade recycling point. Finally, foil coffee bags. The best thing to do in product design and package design is to reduce the amount of materials that you use. And this is why you see coffee companies move away from, say, glass jars or plastic jars into plastic film. It reduces the waste produced, but these plastic film bags can't be recycled, so... We clean off any residual coffee that may still be stuck to it and then can make it into a variety of plastic raw materials. For more info on what not to toss, head to TerraCycle.com. Waking up to the surprising ways we can recycle. Most of us have excitedly snapped a pick or two out of an airplane window, but let's be honest, they're usually ruined by glare or bad lighting or an airplane wing. Well, it's time to change that and learn the secrets of airplane window photography. Flying is usually filled with new experiences. So why not photograph your journey? Best of all, almost anyone can do it. You just want to capture the images that really inspire you and maybe tell a story about the trip that you happen to be taking at that time. And you know, it makes for good memories as well. Photographer Curtis Smith has a quick start guide to airplane window photography. And it begins with choosing the best seat to capture breathtaking images. Getting a seat with a clear view is really the key. I like to sit forward of the airplane wing because it gives me the best view up and down. Curtis says there are a couple of areas to avoid, like the spacious exit rows. Because you have the plane wing right in your view. He also says steer clear of the engines because the heat can distort your photos. Next, you'll want to gear up. Almost any camera, like your smartphone, will work. Whether you've got a high-end digital or if you're shooting with a smartphone, it doesn't really matter as long as you have something to capture that moment. The old photographer's adage says, the best camera is the one you have with you. Curtis says you'll also want to grab the Camera Plus app for iPhone or ProCam X for Android. And it has controls that allow you to control the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO settings. And having that type of control can really help take those smartphone images up to the next level. Camera Plus and ProCam X are free, but they do charge for extra features. Find them on Google Play or the App Store. Finally, know your route. This way you can anticipate the landmarks you'd like to shoot down below. I'll use a website called FlightAware and it will show the typical route that they take for a particular flight number. You can choose routes based on cities or flight numbers and there's a handy weather overlay feature to warn of any clouds. And also the cool thing about that site is they also show you what type of plane they're flying as well so that can help you on your seat selection. FlightAware is free for the basic version. Check them out online. Taking your photo skills sky high. There are some really spectacular views if you just take the time to take a look out the window and see what's going by. With airplane window photography. Here's what's up next on the list. Vision is such an important gift that we have. Ways to protect your eyes this summer and how NASA is searching for life in space. It'll take up to maybe six years to get out to Jupiter. Plus, maybe more. Out the first new music by this band in over a decade. I'm so excited! That's all next on the list. Hey YouTube, I'd say I hate to interrupt, but I love interrupting. You're right in the middle of watching the show, sure, but hit subscribe and turn on notifications and then I'll let you watch the rest of the show. All right? Okay, go ahead. Welcome back, friends. Well, just like our skin and our hair, the extreme conditions of summer are tough on our eyes. So we've got tips on giving your eyes the TLC they need 
during the hot months. Sure, we lather on sunscreen during the hotter months, but what about our eyes? Vision is such an important gift that we have, and it's closely tied to quality of life. So we spoke with Dr. James Delarusso, an optometrist at New Jersey Eye Center, to learn how to care for our eyes during the summer. And it starts with protecting them from UV rays. UV light has very long-term damaging properties to the structures of the eye. The, the cornea, the front of the eye absorbs the majority of it. People that have had early long-term chronic exposure to UV light they get cataracts at a very young age. So, very important to wear protection hat and sunglasses. Very easy thing to do, but very important. And he says avoid the strong midday sun because it doesn't take a long time with direct UV exposure to give yourself a solar keratitis. Solar keratitis is literally a sunburn of the cornea. That's tremendously uncomfortable. Next, be aware of dry eyes. The tears have a couple of really important jobs. The tears are there to lubricate the eyes. They're there to wash out any debris that's in the eyes. And the tear film is actually antimicrobial. And so you really want a good, robust tear film. And a really simple way to allow that physiologic process to occur is staying well hydrated. And when you're perspiring more or it's really hot, your eyes may be more at risk of getting dry, especially if you're swimming. So if hydrating isn't cutting it, opt for an over-the-counter lubricant. But the best option is usually just a preservative-free artificial tear. Finally, be careful with contact lenses. Contact lenses can be a great option to get a nice vacation from wearing your spectacles. But in the summertime, especially if you're on a beach, you're more susceptible to irritation from wind and even infection, especially if we inadvertently get our contact lenses uh, wet through swimming. So good contact hygiene is a must. So it's very important to have a schedule for when you replace your contact lenses. It's very important to take the lenses out at night. We are seeing clearly and keeping our eyes healthy this summer, thanks to these tips. There's lots of things happening on planet Earth right now, but as it turns out, there's lots going on above the globe, too. If you're as fascinated by space as we are, check out these three upcoming missions that will go on mind-blowing adventures soon. Coming in at number one, Europa Clipper. Ocean worlds around our giant planets are there to be discovered. Europa Clipper is being built to do just that. Launching in 2024, the unmanned spacecraft will travel to Jupiter's moon Europa and explore the deep ocean under its icy shell that could be home to alien life. We're not talking about fish and whales. That would be exciting, giant squid or something. But instead, probably just single cell organisms. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California recently started assembling the Europa Clipper, and then it'll be shipped to Cape Canaveral, Florida for launch. It'll take a few years or up to maybe six years to get out to Jupiter. Incredible. At number two, the Da Vinci Mission to Venus. Launching in 2029, the Da Vinci Mission, named after Leonardo da Vinci, is designed to address fundamental questions about the origin, evolution, and composition of Venus. And it's also an acronym for Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases Chemistry and Imaging Mission. The probe will take about an hour to fall through the atmosphere, taking measurements and snapping images down to the surface. And when the probe finally lands... The Da Vinci probe will take the first ever close-up images of rugged mountains on Venus. Can't wait to see what it finds. And third on our upcoming space missions list, NASA's Psyche mission. The Psyche mission will allow humankind to visit a metal world for the first time. Launching next month, the probe will travel to the unique asteroid it's named after. The Psyche spacecraft is targeted to launch in 2022, arrive in 2026, and spend 21 months orbiting, mapping, and studying the asteroid's properties. An asteroid that appears to be the exposed nickel iron core of an early planet. And since scientists can't observe the Earth's core, having a look at Psyche should give us an idea of how planets are formed. Psyche may be able to tell us how Earth's core and the cores of the other terrestrial planets came to be. I've seen the movies. Isn't Earth's core where Godzilla lives? And those were three highly anticipated space missions just around the corner. Lots more to come on the list. Stay with us. This is your place for great lifestyle trends, 
tips and helpful hints. It can help calm us, improve our mood. What's new, what's now, and what's next? TheListTV.com. We're back. All right, guys, who is ready for some new music? Well, some of the world's biggest stars are coming out with brand new albums, so Hattie DJ Mall's pumping up your playlist on the hot list. No, it's not the same as it was. The first half of 2022 has already delivered in terms of music. Stars like Harry Styles, Drake, and Post Malone are among those who've already dropped huge albums. And there's more to come. The, the records that we're talking about, they're all from artists who uh, haven't released a, a big statement collection for a while. These are artists that are like, you know, kind of huge, well-known across demographics. <laughs> Chris DeVille, managing editor for the music blog Stereo Gum, highlights three highly anticipated albums to keep an eye out for. Starting with Freedom by Journey. It's the legendary rock band's 15th studio album and their first with all new material in over a decade. Just listening through the advanced singles from it, I was kind of shocked by like, how much it sounded like classic journey so i think they're coming back really strong the album drops this friday and will be followed by a short tour through the u.s that kicks off july 15th and from nostalgic feels to nothing but uplifting vibes from lizzo's album special turn up the music turn down the lights out next friday this will be the singer's fourth studio album which will be also followed by a tour coming up this fall fans have definitely been waiting a while and it seems like based on the, the early singles that she's released from this special album that it really will be a special album for for lizzo fans we're wrapping it up with beyonce's renaissance actually doing it it's happening the beehive is buzzing over the icon's seventh studio album the long-awaited follow-up to 2016's lemonade once she announced that that was happening i think that probably became the most anticipated album of the year for a lot of people. It drops July 29th, and she's already given fans a taste with the dance track, Break My Soul. I think that she might end up having some pretty big hits off the album. So yeah, when you got a new Beyonce album on the way, it's like high alert in the uh, music industry world. Your playlist is about to get a major overhaul with these highly anticipated albums. We'll be right back. We're back. The Netflix hit Inventing Anna is all about a woman who scammed New York's elite. But the show got almost as much attention for the clothing as the crime. The good news, you don't have to risk jail time to look great. Teresa Strasser shows us how to look like a socialite on a budget. Her name is Anna Delvey. Anna Delvey. Anna Delvey. Anna Delvey. Inventing Anna is the Netflix hit show that not only followed the rise and fall of Anna Delvey, but also got the world buzzing over her lavish wardrobe, which helped her achieve the facade of a chic socialite. You look... Thank you. There's something about her style that was part of her con. She had to look expensive. She really knew what she was doing. <laughs> we met up with fashion expert Juliana Garten at the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess to learn how to achieve Anna's style. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Without breaking or robbing the bank. Knowing how to put the pieces together, you can look a million dollars too. Let's begin with the iconic eyewear. Don't crowd my entrance. Are these Anna Delvey defendant glasses? Yes. One of Anna's go-to brands of specs was Celine, both in clear lenses and sunglasses. While hers are worth hundreds, we found similar pairs on Amazon for just under 13 bucks each. She didn't have much going on, but when she had something, it was powerful and it was big. Can I borrow $10 million, yes or no? Absolutely. See, done. And on top of the New York City hustle, the faux socialite also enjoyed a luxury getaway where she often donned her iconic scarves. Well, salute. 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 Two of Anna's looks from her yacht venture in Ibiza included headscarves. We found close matches also on Amazon for $7.99 and $12.99. So you can steal this look, but don't steal anything else. 
And for the rest of your outfit? Just go simple, clean, because you already have the attention going up here. And what does every head turning look need? A statement handbag, of course. Those are very pricey. Can you get a cheap handbag that looks expensive? Yeah, absolutely. Anna's collection includes pieces worth tens of thousands of dollars, but we found a similar handbag from Target for 40 bucks and a pink designer inspired piece from Poshmark for about $50. It's always like how you put yourself mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and how you're gonna wear those accessories. Finally, let's wrap up our socialite look with Anna's it shoe, the ankle boot. So what is it about an ankle boot that works? It dresses up any dress. If you have a dress like you have now with boots like that, you're ready to go. Anna wore this power shoe to meet with financial advisors on Park Avenue. It's a timeless style and we got ours at Nine West for just under 50 bucks. You can get ankle boots at Target, at Marshalls, at Ross. Everywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. So you're always going to find it. And that's your affordable head to toe socialite style guide. You killed it. Who's paying for this champagne? Well, let's be honest. Teresa always looks like a million bucks. Uh, hello. I'm standing right here. Well, you look more like a thousand bucks in Monopoly money. You know what? I'll take that. Yeah. Hey. Guys, thanks so much for watching us on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video. Maybe leave us a comment down below and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a list. Now, if you need more episodes, I got them right here for you.